Uh, all right, but we're moving to our kind of main uh, topic today. At least I was requested to focus on, uh, on this uh, area, meaning logistics. So uh, what can we say about all these, you know, logistic transportation um, and supply chain problems? So uh, <clears throat> all, all of them have several things in common. One of them is space. We're moving things from A to B. Uh, second thing is time. We have time associated with moving things, with, with that time associated to, with storing things, uh, with receiving orders, etc. And we have uncertainty. The uh, delivery time can be uncertain. The um, supply time or the um, order time can be, um, can be uncertain. We can, can have breakdowns and repairs which also impact the system. Therefore, all uh, logistics, supply chain, transportation systems are uh, inherently stochastic. They have a lot of randomness inside. Causality. Uh, things happen in time and in certain orders. So if I uh, send my rail car from A to B, then uh, it'll appear here at that time, then I can set it to C, empty, load here, etc. So order of things, um, causality. The uh, space for optimizing the system is really great. Uh, let's say you have, you know, manage, again, I'm going back to this example, a uh, huge fleet of rail cars. You have all the possibilities. You know, you have, you know, thousands of stations uh, around, let's say, Russia. You have thousands of rail cars, many, well, huge number of decisions are possible. Which is optimal? How, how do we choose? Also, de decisions, uh, different types of transport. Use own transport or, or rent transport, or maybe outsource transportation to somebody, outsource storage to somebody, etc. cetera. Uh, transportation and uh, supply chain operation in general interacts with other processes, sales, business processes of different elements of the supply chain, manufacturing processes. So, so all these systems are uh, very much dynamic. All these systems are <clears throat> very much dynamic and therefore analysis of the system may require uh, special tools for uh, design for dynamic system. One of them is simulation modeling. Uh, this is the same abstraction level scale, but the applications listed here are of, uh, of a narrow, a more narrow area. Again, from detailed model to abstract models, pedestrian flow, I'll show you in a second uh, a couple of models of pedestrian, detailed physical level model, micro models of uh, street car traffic, again, uh, how do different drivers interact? When do they change lanes? How do they queue at the intersections, etc.? cetera? Um, rail yard modeling, airport process modeling. Um, and if we go up at the level of obstruction scale, we'll find out that, okay, like actually supply chains are not necessarily located uh, that, uh, that high. You can, Mm, there are models of supply chain really very, very detailed, including, let's say, the, what's happening er, inside the warehouse, as well as it's very, very abstract. How much do we need uh, to store, or what, what should be the inventory policy, etc. So this, this kind of models are really um, spread widely in the abstraction level. Fleet management, uh, joint models of supply chain and market, when people do combine consumer markets, uh, let's say automobile market of, uh, oh, another, another example, which probably is good. Um, you know that in the beginning of iPhone era, we did have shortages of iPhone supplies because of the limited uh, manufacturing capacities of, of Apple. So, uh, okay, 
if we're certain, let's say, take Russia. Here, uh, we certainly did feel the, uh, the, these shortage, shortages very much. So where, what would people do? Would they wait for the iPhone to be available? Or would they uh, buy a different product, let's say, uh, a smartphone with uh, Android operating system from Samsung? So how do we model that? So uh, again, all these range of abstraction levels uh, and huge range of, uh, of problems. 